Today is July 20th, San Diego Comic-Con Funko Pop Day, and we are at the Smith Haven Mall on Long Island. Yeah! And look, I got, I got Lauren Ashley with me and their cousin Aiden. I should have worn my Everyday Geek shirt like you. Yeah, yeah I gotta represent the Everyday Geek. Yeah, baby. We're not going to Dick's. We're going to Barnes & Noble, then into the mall to hit up Wait, FYE, I'm, I'm the I that, I like GameStop. That. I like that, but... And they made yeah. a new shop, Dick's Sporting Goods. We're not going to... Dick's doesn't shop. sell pops yet, eventually. Check out Barnes & Noble. Got a couple I got to hit up in here. Then, like I said, FYE, GameStop. There's another one. Why can't I remember the other store? Not Hot Topic, Barnes first year. Well, Barnes & Noble we're going to now. This is the first year I don't need anything from Hot Topic, shockingly. FYE. FYE, yep, this is the first time I need something from FYI. there. <laughs> oh, Walmart, I gotta stop that later. Good oh. luck with that one. All right, well, we're gonna head into Barnes & Noble and see what we can get. <sighs> I'm hoping for a good day. All right, so we just left Barnes & Noble, a uh, real bummer. Uh, waited online for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, right? I only got one of them, one of the four I wanted, because they were selling like four or five to people, and that's BS, those are flippers, those aren't collectors. But now we're at the mall. I have a buddy, though, hitting up another uh, Barnes & Noble, so he's going to try to find the other ones I was looking for. I'm gonna try to find some stuff in here for him at FYE and GameStop. So, I'll try to hook it up. You guys excited? Yeah, we had an incident that we only got the Borax, not Tigger or anything. No, we didn't. We only we got this. Borax. Yeah. So, all right. We're in the mall now. See how we do. We're heading to Hot Topic now just to take a look what they have. They're the girls and, the, and Aiden. And we did GameStop. We got um, everything in game stuff that we wanted, right? Yes. Yeah. I think I had everything I wanted. Plus, I picked up a couple for my buddy who then called me that he got them already. So, I'll use the ones I have as trade because there are stuff I missed out on. Um, then we hit up FYE, and the only one I missed out on was the flocked um, Chippendale. Yeah. They were out of them. The normal, like, unfortunately. No I saw another show, Chippendale. Yeah, she got so excited and was yelling in the store, Daddy, I found Chippendale. And she runs over and it was the Kingdom Hearts Chippendale. Sorry. Felt bad having to tell her that that wasn't the one I was looking for. Uh, now we're going to head to Hot Topic. Nothing particular. I had to get this. I want to see what they have. And, uh, yeah, the only thing I got to do is Walmart. And they probably won't have it anyway, so. He said it was flocked and, like, no clothes like the normal one. And, he and what? Said I had to have you buy some, right? Yeah. In GameStop, which is good. They were only letting you get one. They only let everybody get one pop, you know, one of each kind. So like, I needed a man bat, and I needed a man bat for my buddy, but they wouldn't sell me two. So what I did was I gave her my credit card, and she went and ordered a, a man bat and a negatron uh, for my buddy, who ended up getting them anyway. So now I have two extra. No, no, man bat. They were still only had one, so I got mine. I have an extra negatron and a Batman Joker that I didn't want. So I see the emoji slippers. Oh, these emojis. Anyway. All right. See you later. So that was a little clip of our hunt. Um, I had the girls and their cousin with me. I got almost everything I wanted. Uh, there are a few things I didn't get that I have some pops I'm going to try to trade uh, to get them or to sell and buy what I'm looking for. I, I missed out on Scare Glow. I missed out on the Ren and Stimpy um, dual pack that were on the FunkoShop.com. Missed out on the Judy Jetson Rock Candy. Let's get into what I got. I'm going to show you what I got first in the box, then we will take them out and take a closer look. I got both Wilma Flintstone and Betty Rubble from the Flintstones. Love the Flintstones, grew up watching that. Um, I love the sticker too, it says Saturday Morning Cartoons Limited Edition San Diego 2017. Next I got from, I believe it was Box Lunch, um, the Dorbs Rides, uh, number 30. It's the 2017 Summer Convention. It's the Aladdin with a boo and the Magic Carpet. This looks really awesome. Then I picked up a couple exclusives and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or not. I might use them to trade or sell. The first one I'll show you is uh, from The Walking Dead. It's $4.95, it's T-Dog. The reason I picked this up is because I do have some Walking Dead pops. I have everything stored away though in a storage unit until we move and get our house and I get my space to put everything out. So I wanna really take a look at what I have because I've been contemplating on my Walking Dead ones and my Game of Thrones. Um, I'm not that deep into those collections, and I might just end them because they're so huge. But I picked this up in case I decide not to end it. At least I know I'd have this because it's an exclusive and it might be hard to find. So I figured I'd grab it now, and then if I need to trade it or sell it later, that's fine. But I have T-Dog. Same goes for these next two I picked up. I haven't started collecting any of these, 
But Kathy and I just finished watching this series on Netflix and it was fantastic. Uh, season two is coming soon. It's from Stranger Things. I picked up 475 and 476. Steve and Mr. Clark. Again, only picked them up because they're exclusives. They're con exclusives. And if I do plan on collecting that series, as I know I'll have these exclusives. If I decide not to collect them, I could always trade these or sell them. So the next one I picked up is a flocked pop. It's a pop animation from Nickelodeon, number 221. It's Cat Dog. The next one I picked up from the pop books line, Dr. Seuss is number 11. It's the flocked Lorax. Uh, I picked up from the Batman animated series from the pop heroes line, number 189, Man Bat, which looks awesome. From the Disney line that were exclusives for San Diego Comic-Con, I picked up, uh, the first one here is Glow in the Dark. It's number 300 from Darkwing Duck, it's Negatron. From Winnie the Pooh, I picked up number 288 and it's flopped, it's Tigger. From Disney Moana, um, I think I ordered this from Amazon, um, it's Hey Hey from Moana. Also grabbed the two pack of the flopped Chip and Dale, which are awesome. Oh, love Chippendale. And then the last one I got here I ordered from Walmart. Finally was able to get it. Uh, it took me a while, but I picked up from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line, uh, number 507, I grabbed Baxter Stockman, which is an awesome pop. That's my haul of all Funko stuff for the San Diego Comic-Con in 2017. All right, so I have everything open. We're gonna bring in closer to get a better look. All right, so we'll start with some of the pops. First, it's Negatron. And he is very cool. He glows in the dark. All the gray parts glow in the dark. I like this a lot. Very detailed. No issues with it whatsoever. Um, a good looking pop. And that was an exclusive for, I believe it was GameStop. Then we have here from Stranger Things, it's Mr. Clark. Pretty cool. Basic pop. We also have Steve from Stranger Things. And he's all bruised up. He's holding the uh, bat with the nails in it. Very cool. We have T-Dog from Walking Dead. Not a bad pop. Uh, kind of late, I feel, for T-Dog. He's been dead for a while on the show, but not a bad pop. And we got the Flocked Lorax, which is a really cute pop. Very small. I love the Flocked Pops. They're the best. And uh, this is Fly. Everything's Flocked. Um, even his eyebrows are Flocked. Um, everything but his eyes. That's awesome. Cute little pop. Another awesome Flocked one is Cat Dog. Nickelodeon's Cat Dog, and it's Everything's flock except for their nose and their eyes. Uh, this is another awesome, awesome flocked pop. Very nice. Continue with the flocked, we have the flocked Tigger, which was from Barnes & Noble. Again, my buddy picked this up for me. It was the last one they had, so the box is in the great shape. And there's a couple little like uh, mishaps here, if you can tell, around his eyes um, and around his nose a little bit. But whatever, I'm just glad to have it, so that's awesome. We have the flocked Chippendale two-pack that came from FYE. Very cool. I love Chippendale. I want some Chippendale Rescue Ranger figures. That's what I want now, some pops. We have, I don't know how to say this name, Hey Hey or Hee Hee, I don't know. It's from Moana. Uh, we haven't watched that yet. We have it. We're huge Disney fans, so whenever I see Disney pops, even if it's an exclusive that I'm not too familiar with, I will pick it up. A little odd looking, but whatever. Then we have from Batman the Animated Series, the awesome Man Bat, and this is a really awesome figure. I love the way the wings go back and kind of curl. Oh, this is a great figure. The Batman animated series line are probably next to like the Turtles and a couple other lines are one of the best lines. Speaking of Turtles, next we got the Baxter Stockman, which took me forever to get, but I finally got my hands on it from Walmart. And I, I love how the wings are a little translucent. You can see through them a little bit. Great Baxter Stockman figure. Awesome. Love this pop. The rock candy we got, uh, Betty Rubble and Wilma Flintstone. They come with bases, and these are just really awesome. Even the rock candy, I wasn't a big fan of it in the beginning, but they're starting to come out with some characters that are knocking out of the ballpark. They have a bunch coming out. Uh, Disney line, I saw Jessica Rabbit and some other ones, and that looks awesome also. But these are awesome. Love them. All right, last thing to show you is the Aladdin door. So here is the carpet, and it has a stand. That's the carpet. And then it has, like, indents, you see, and that's where they sit. So Aladdin goes right there, and Abu goes right there. You may have it on your stand or your shelf, and it looks like then the flying carpet. Awesome. So that was my San Diego Comic Con 2017 Funko Pop haul. I got rock candies and dorbs and pops. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you got in the San Diego Comic Con. Better yet, let me know what you missed out on. Maybe we can make some trades. I have a couple of things I'm trying to trade. I have an extra Negatron from Darkwing Duck. I have the Batman Joker from Suicide Squad. I have. Um, 
What else did I have to trade? Oh, I have a Chase figure from Five Nights of Freddy. And I have uh, the, if you remember the Smuggler's Bounty, Flocked Chewbacca from, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago. I have one of those up for trade also. So again, I'm looking for Scare Glow I missed out on. Judy Jetson Rock Candy. The Ren and Stimpy Dual Pack. Uh, the the Dorb Skeletor with the Flocked Panther. I got a lot of what I wanted, but there were a few I missed out on. Let me know what you thought. Leave your comments below. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. Hit the little bell if you haven't done so already. That'll give you notifications of all of our videos when they go live. And you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Everyday Geek TV. Thanks guys. Adios.